Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am the Bar Lord, and this is Fire Emblem Dark Dragon the Blade of Light, where we left off last time. We went through one a a castle. Uh, we killed a general for the first time. That was great. Wendell fucked him up, and we've now got Harden. And that's all that matters. We also met Princess Nina, and she gave Marf the Fire em the titular Fire Emblem, which is a shield, by the way, and it allows him to open chests. That's all I can do. Kind of lame. Now we're going through a mountain pass, and we're going to get a very interesting character at this point. So, first off, there's... Yeah, there's a lot of air combat in this level, which is going to be great. We don't want Barst, right? Yeah, we don't want Barst. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. We can check. Does Marth have the Firestone? No, he does not. That probably got sent back to the convoy. We'll bring Ogma. Definitely want Gordon and Caster Harden. Uh, we'll bring Lena for he health. I think we can buy like stabs now. Uh, who else do I want? I don't want Draug because he's gonna be way too slow for this map. We'll bring Wolf and Sedgur this time, even though they kind of suck, and we're probably never gonna use them again past this point. Uh, we'll bring Navar. Uh, we don't really want to rely on the Axe Boys too much, because they're not going to make it to the end of the game. Uh, we'll bring Julian, I guess, and Wendell. This sounds like a good plan to me, Chief. General Harmine, okay. General Harmine, sorry. General Harmine, I don't agree with your plan. As a Macedon, as a Macedon knight, I'd like to, fl I'd like to fight fairly. Fuck. Princess, you're. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, okay. Princess, your army's lost many in the Aurelius battles. We must stay in the castle and stall the enemy. I've been placed here by my king, and I want you to obey, or I can't destroy your sister's safety. Fine, but I. Fine, but I don't- sorry, fine, but I don't want to believe we'll at least be able to defeat Altea's knights with these plans. You'll regret this. Okay. So here's what's important. So, the redhead chick in that, the Macedonian girl, that is Minerva. The fucking killer unit. And she's actually recruitable. Not in this chapter, though. So, luckily, Minerva and her posse down here of Katria, Hala, and Est, They'll just fuck off. They're not going to stay around for the entire fight, so all we have to do is just wait them out, and we're good to go at that point. Okay, so Julian... Can he open the door and get on the floor? Unfortunately, he cannot. Okay, so... Wendell has the lockpick. Can he use that? I, I didn't think so. I did not think he could use the lockpick. Ah... Uh, yeah, we're mostly gonna need to shuffle guys around here, so Navarre, you go to this house and see what the person here has to say. Ah, fuck, uh, Minerva doesn't want to fight for blah blah blah, her little sister has been captured, so she has no choice but to fight. Is there anything that could help her? Now this looks like a job for me. The most special, the most special commander that this army has ever seen. My plans are unique, exceedingly so. Okay, so Julian and the main force we have in this fight are going to be our horse, or just going to be our archers. Sedgar and Wolf, they they suck, but they're going to be pretty reliable here because we're going to have an influx of Pegasus Knights and uh, I don't remember how many. Waver Knights are in this chapter. Still, they also get fucked up by the power of the bow. So, Mr. Harmine, if that even is your real name, what is your plan? I'll be back shortly so I can get my coffee. Alright. So, they've made their move. They're definitely advancing. Which is... Yeah, we're probably in range at this point, which... That is a downside of the original game here, is that you can't 
actually see what the enemy range is, or what your range is. You just kind of have to assume. Hey, right. yeah, now Navarre's caught up, though, equipment-wise. He's doing pretty good. And from here, we're going to pull back our forces just enough to where the Waver Knights get in our range, or at least get close enough to where we might be able to start striking them. So we're just going to rearrange our army real fast, so that way we have no one get attacked first. We want we want them to come to us, not go to them. All right. Okay, yeah, it only takes two turns, and then Minerva's like, "Man, fuck this shit, homies, let's roll out." And that's exactly what they do. Minerva and her homies just like. You know what? Fuck this shit. I'm out of here. Oh. Great. Hey, wolf. You you might be fucked. Oh, thank God. Wolf, I honestly don't know how you managed to accomplish that. You sucked so hard, but you... You avoided it. You actually didn't get hit for once. Which means you're probably gonna miss when I try and attack with you, right? You're going to miss? Shit, they're too stuck in... They're up in the mountains. Uh, this ain't great. Most of our guys, at the very least, have a good chance of being able to defend themselves here, so I'm not super worried about that. Alright, Wolf. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, kill this thing. Okay, you actually did it. I'm genuinely surprised, Wolf. Good on you. Good on you, you brave boy. Brave, brave boy. Now, what are you two chuckle fucks gonna do? <laughs> I choked on sp spit. Holy shit. <laughs> I was gonna talk there, and I breathed in as I was trying to exhale. It did not work out well, as you can imagine. Dear God, okay. What I was trying to say is that I think it's kind of hilarious that they still try and put a thief on the map, even though, like, literally he's way down here and he has to go all the way around again to the gate there. Alright. Oh god, okay, so... I don't honestly care about trying to level them up, it's not gonna matter, so... Gordon, though... Alright, Gordon. Your time to shine, boy. Okay, yeah, they can't reach her. Uh, in that little field there. Gordon, it's your time to shine, boy. Ah, nice, Gordon. One shot. And he leveled up, too. That's awesome. I mean, I suppose we could level up at least one of these two, so... Come on, Wolf. Yeah, nice work. Okay, now are there any more flyers at this point in time? Because they are going to start popping out of that fortress. So, yeah, okay. Now it's... We're probably going to use the mountains as heavy cover. If I had to... If I'm... No, the forests are going to be what we want. Or so. The town's not going to help that much. We just need to get through here. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and bring Marth and Julian through, and we're also gonna send in Ogma to help reinforce my boat, my bros here. Does Julian have the lockpick? No, he does not. That's what I thought, so Wendell, you gotta get your fat ass over there and give my boy the lockpick. Can you pick locks? I didn't think... I didn't think so. It's a good thing... It's a good thing Wolf's inventory was full, otherwise that would have sucked so hard. Oh god, that would have been bad. We would have had a full turn wasted there.
Okay. We gotta try and bum rush these guys, so Julian, open the door. Okay. Ogma, take the one on the left. Come on, boy. I believe in you. You son of a bitch. Ogma, why? You're supposed to be good. You're one of the best units I have in this game. How did you not hit him? Okay. If Marth can kill this guy, at the very least, if Marth can kill this one, then I can send... Then I can send uh, Sheeta or Sela or whatever her fucking name is. I can send her to kill the R1. And he didn't do it. Okay. Okay. So... Lena, you mend him. Honestly, the... I don't understand why the clerics level up in this game, because all it does, I think, is, like, increase their luck, and that's it. It's kind of useless. It doesn't even do it every level, it's just sometimes. If Wolf can hit this guy... Okay, we're good. So, Wolf hit him. She does pretty good, so she should be able to just straight up take this, take this guy out. I should have picked the Silver Spear! Dear God, no! Oh, thank God! Oh, thank God she critted. Okay. I was kind of worried, because I'm like, why did I pick the Steel Sword? I could have had her use the Spear and know for a fact I would have killed him if I- if it hit. Okay. As for the rest of our troops, we're gonna start posting them in the neighboring hit neighboring hit. Why can't you go in the forest, man? Whatever, Gordon. I'm gonna start trying to post them up in the hills around here and the forest, so that way if any flyers come by, we have uh, an invasion bonus because of that. Fortunately, the cavalry can only traverse through the woods, which sucks, but what can you do? They The cavalry, at the very least, should be able to withstand flyer attacks uh, to a decent degree. I'm just glad this game doesn't work on XCOM logic, where if they get hit, they can't- If a soldier gets hit, they can't be used in the next mission. That would suck so hard. So far, I think this mission's gone pretty smoothly so far. I'm kind of worried about that one fortress over there, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, you wanna go, bro? You wanna go? You wanna fuck with me? I'm King Marth. Sorry, Prince Marth. Soon to be king. Come on, show me what you got, Groost. Oh. One damage. One damage is all your pathetic little bitch boy body can stand. Ha! Okay, you did a little bit more, but still. Fuck you, I did. Uh It's just a really good thing Marth is overpowered as shit in this game. <laughs> He's a really good unit. Like, unironically so. He is great in this. Have you seen a young girl named Cheeky? I... My memory's not quite what it used to be, and I... I don't quite remember. Do you have any watermelons by any chance? She's the soul... She's the soul... The solo survivor of the Naga family, she can defeat the Manakeets, loyal to Medeus. I'm a fire dragon, but I lost my stone, so I can't fight. I'll join you. Please help me find Tiki. This is Bon- this is Bontu. Bontu is cool in concept, but kind of lame in practice. Because Bontu is a fucking dragon man. And he can turn into a dragon in combat. Which isn't really as good as you think it is, because he also can't level up his stats at all, and his stats are kind of shit. He isn't bad, though. Uh, he's... He's kind of, like, decent against normal enemies, because he can turn into a dragon. At least defensively, he's decent, but when he... If he starts trying to fight our dragons, he's kind of fucked, if I remember correctly. 
The other thing about Bantu is he's completely useless if you didn't get the Firestone in the last chapter. Like, I think that's the only place you can get the Firestone. So if you didn't get that one in the last chapter, which is why I made a point of it, Bonitu is just an old man. He's an old man in your army, he can't use any weapons, he's just useless. Nice job, Moth. And you're level 9, so a speed and a luck, and an HP bonus, nice. Okay, so Bonitu, you... Sorry, Bantu. I'm used to the other translation I used. Alright, Julian. Okay, now that we've done that, this whole area is just not defensively viable. At least I don't think it is. I don't think the tile there gives us any defensive bonus. So instead, we're just gonna pull everyone out and start focusing them to pushing their way through to the enemy at the bottom of the hill. Sorry, I also have to monitor time because I got work today, so around 12.45 I gotta leave, and it's currently 12.20. So, hopefully I can get this done by... Now I might be able to squeak this one by. Here's just a convoy of you can bring the blah blah blah. I don't have any items to store, but I can take something. I'd very much like the da 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 Firestone. Give me that fire stone tie. So yeah, there is glitch you can do with Bonitu though, that's pretty fucking cool. But it's gonna be a bit before we can perform that. Alright. We're gonna send Caster down there. And send... I'll well, send Gordon over to where the forest is, even though he can't quite reach it. Because most of our troops kinda suck. Alright, we're just gonna advance our troops and we'll be right back. Okay, so we've advanced most of our troops, we've sent Sheeta back so she can get to the convoy and get an armor slayer, because that- those guys down at the bottom are probably gonna be an issue without one. That being said, we're gonna try and see if Julian can go toe-to-toe -to -toe against this thief, who's level 5, so Julian is double his power. Alright, Julian. I believe in you. Let's do this, bud. Holy shit, man. Okay, I wasn't expecting Julian to be this effective. Nice work, Julian. You did good, buddy. Yeah, we're gonna start posting our guys, though, just around in the forest for defensive bonuses. Well, Sheeta goes to try and get that armor slayer, which is gonna be very valuable. Make sure to keep these guys in high cover, because God knows they need it. Ogma ain't a bitch, boy. Ogma can take them on no problem. Abel can take them on no problem. Fucking Harden will just absolutely wreck these guys. Those two? Not, not quite. Even Caster and Gordon are better. When you're getting outclassed by fucking Gordon, that's how you know you fucked up in life. Gordon. Fucking Gordon is making you look like a bitch. Uh, okay, yeah. Make your move, Harmine. I should have checked if they had javelins. That's an issue. Okay, Marth should actually no, we'll have Lena go ahead and heal him. Okay, Gita. Go to storage. Uh, we'll store... We'll store that steel sword that has more health than... Yeah. Good. Alright. Take the armor slayer, and then we'll fly her back. 
Barf should be good, though, and can probably help take out those heavy armor guys. Uh, because he's a boss. He is fucking great. Okay. Wendell, uh, we'll have you go ahead and go there. Alright, Julian, you can do it. I believe in you. Yeah! Julian got him. Nice work, bud. Yeah, I have a lockpick, so I'm good. Ah, oh, there we go. The victory music's coming in, boys. Alright, Harden. Oh. Harden's in a good defensive spot, so... We're just gonna tr Can we get into a javelin contest? How does he do more damage? I'm sorry, no, he is level 3. I'm fucking level 10. He should not be doing more damage to me. I don't care if he is an armor knight. Wait, is that Navar? Ah, oh, fuck, no. Okay, that's not as good. That's... I'll try and send Ogma to deal with it. Ogma might be able to get this done better. He might not even need the armor slayer. Alright, Ogma, can you do it? Ogma's at the very least... He's not doing bad, all things considered. Once we get to the next chapter, though, Ogma's things are going to change drastically. Okay, we're able to at least take out one armor knight. I'm not gonna send in Caster quite yet. I have faith he probably could. But I'm not- I don't want to- I don't want to risk it quite yet. So, I'm gonna get Sheeta to get as close as she can to try and take this guy out. And then, if Caster doesn't work then, then I'll send Sheeta to take him- to try and take him out. Fuck! I forgot about Julian! Julian in a forest right now? I think he's in a forest. No, he's not, actually. That's impressive. Okay. So... From there, we can just send Shida to... Us. We can start making her way there. She may make it in three turns or so. Oh. I guess two more. Okay, Bantu... You ain't really doing anything here, Lena. You're kind of a shitty medic. Yeah, well, I gotta try and conserve that, uh, that sweet, sweet, ex sweet, sweet, uh, end, you know. Alright, Caster, can you, can you do anything? Fuck. Holy shit! What the fuck? I'm sorry, Caster did more damage to him than, 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 than Ogma did. Okay, no, we don't need Sheeta. Fuck Sheeta. Okay, Gordon's about what I expect, but... Holy fuck, Caster does not fuck around, man. Like, I can't... I'm sorry, I'm genuinely shocked. Like, Caster actually... Caster did a lot more than I thought he could. But Wendell... did... not kill him. Okay, Harden, can you... can you do this? Can you do this, please? You have a silver sword. You have a big advantage here. You should be able to kill him. Thank... thank you. Uh. Alright, well, works out well for us. Uh, mostly, there, the, the enemies are gonna start flooding out those fortresses real soon. At least I think they are. Alright, just send Sheeta down. Bantu... Yeah, I don't... Bantu can't level up if I'm correct. I don't think he... Either that or he levels up, like... Absurdly slowly. Well, then... Now, Navar's good. We're just gonna have... 
We're gonna try and post them over in the, the nearby forest there, in case anyone tries to attack. Uh, we'll send off. Yep. No, we'll send Julian. I want Julian to heal up so he can kill that medic. Uh, Marv's, like, fully good on health. He's just great. Okay. Uh, Caster can probably heal up in the time it takes for him. There they are. That's fun. Come on, Marth. Come on, man. Not like that. Come on, man. Javelin. Yeah. At the very least, it's kind of a good thing in this game that they don't go for the weakest unit, they go for Marth. Like, that's a hard code thing. They will gun after Marth because the enemies know that's a game over. Honestly, though, three enemies to kill ain't that bad. We can take three, no problem. I'm just gonna send Julian over to take care of that. A guy over there. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and have uh, Caster take out this fucker. Come on. And you missed. Good work, buddy. You missed. Well, that sucked, but... And the thing with Navar is he can't... He's not gonna be able to take out, like, one that has mostly full health, so he's... We have to angle him towards the weakest link here. Hopefully he gets a level up soon. And the... Navar's not a bad unit, he's just, like... Less good Ogma. Hopefully Ogma can take out this guy, though. Okay, never mind. Ogma, for some reason, this particular run is kind of sucking balls. Alright, cast- not caster. Gordon! Gordon, can you do this? One more hit, buddy. You've- you've got him- you've weakened him. You did- you've done more than Ogma did. And that's just sad. I'm sorry, but it- thank you. As for Harden. Are you hardened? Or hardly living? I'm hardenly living, alright. Eh. Level 9! Okay, that's really good. Okay, Marth, I'm gonna need you to stab that guy over there. Yes. Shank him real fast, you know. Can you do that? More importantly, Sheeta. I can't give it. Okay, no, Kane actually can use it. Well, he had a free slot available. So how much health does he have? He's full health. Just Kane, go now. No, what the fuck happened? Oh god, no, 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 I don't need this. No. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, this is fucking bad. This is really bad. Okay, we need to take we need to take him out like right now, otherwise Kane is dead. Kane is just going to die. Okay. Lena. 
Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Da, da, da. Alright, this is... This is gonna be a clutch. This is gonna be real clutch. Uh, uh, come on, Abel. You fucking... Damn, Minerva, even you betray me, you'll land yourself and lead yourself. Fuck off. Fuck no. I don't care. I don't care. I got work in like six minutes, man. I don't care. I don't even know if this is going to work. That's the thing. I don't even know if this is going to work, but... I guess we're gonna see if Bonsu can actually do this. It is funny to watch in reverse, though. Okay. Alright. Lena? Please, God. Alright, Lena. Good work. Bonsu, please, I'm begging you here. Thank God. Three damage exact. So yeah, you got to see Bontu. He did his job. I probably should have gone for Bontu in the first place, but you know what? Mistakes were made. It's fine. We've corrected the issue. And Kane is still alive. And so is Abel. That was fucking scary, man. And to clarify, that is not something I'm gonna be doing a lot. It's just this is not this is not the time for that. On the bright side, I managed to get this episode done under time in time, so that's good. Uh, no more reinforcements. That's really good. Julian, you go merc that guy. All right, Mark. Bonatou, you did good work. You useless old man. You're a little less useless than I thought you were. Okay, yeah, they're not gonna pop it up now that he's dead. Alright, Julian. Slay him. Kill the priest. Really? You're not gonna you you're not gonna make it, man. Roost is dead, and Julian has leveled up, thankfully. He's now level 11, and he's a much better thief. And Marth, put a cap on this. Sorry, today I'll tell the tale of the Manakee tribe. A long time ago, the Manakees lived in Dolor in three groups. The Divine Dragon tribe Naga, the Mage tribe Basilisk, and the Fire Dragon tribe Salamander. <coughs> The Naga tribe was the strongest and defended humanity when the others attacked it. Manichees are able to seal their dragon forms inside dragon stones and appear human. There was an age of peace, then the earth dragon Medius appeared. He, he... he... They say mage tribe, he used tremendous power to defeat the Naga tribe and establish Dolor. The mage dragon ba tribe Basilisk is what he is from. Uh, he is an earth dragon and that's the mage tribe I guess. He invaded the land owned by the humans and took over the world. Suddenly, a youth named Henri set out to defeat Medeus, wielding a shining blade named Falchion. Eventually, Medeus was defeated by Henri, then Henri established Altea. A hundred years later, Medeus revived. Sire, you're the chosen one, direct descendant of Henri. You must defeat Medeus. Da, 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 da. Yes. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. 
the chapter that's going to change everything, and it's because of that little village right there. That little town is going to fuck up the balance of this game for a while. But that going to have to be in the next episode, because I got to work three minutes. Well, I got to go in three minutes. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you did. I've been the Barlord. This is Fire Emblem. We'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.